Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to very beautiful in spite of the rain. It's actually not raining right now, but it has been as you can see, Kraków. Uh, I would like to start this video with thanking each one of you who have posted the comment below my video yesterday with so much love and support and uh, very good energy. And I want to say that I appreciate you guys immensely and because of you, viewers like yourself, I continue with uh, with my channel and with this work, with uh, as best as I can do some research and some information to provide you guys. So yes, I will continue, <laughs> but I would like to start this video with uh, the situation that's taking place, that took place in Warsaw yesterday. Um, in regards to the Russian embassy and the school that is nearby Russian embassy. That school is the school for the children, students uh, that are children of the people who work in embassy and also some officers, Russian officers, as I understand this. And uh, there is an article on Business Insider PL, which I will be attaching below this video so you can read part of it yourself. But police broke into the school building, uh, I think it was yesterday, and used the force in order to get in. And I will read part of this to you. Then I will give you the reaction from Dmitry Medvedev and his words, exact words. So police forcibly entered the area, breaking the locks and uh, the Russian side considers any decision to confiscate the building as illegal and according to the ambassador, the actions of the Polish authorities will not remain, remain unanswered. This is the quote from the ambassador. He said, what the reaction will be, I don't want to predict. The decision on this matter will be made in the center, he said. Now, Dmitry Medvedev, I actually came across this uh, right before I was leaving the place where I'm staying to record this message for you. He said exact words. I don't see any point in maintaining diplomatic relations with Poland. The state for us, this state for us, should no longer exist as long as there are absolute Russophobes in power and Polish mercenaries in Ukraine. The latter must be eliminated, exterminated, like smelly rats. So these are his words. Now we will see how this will be going forward and what will be the reaction from Russia to this. They might withdraw the diplomatic uh, diplomatic force here, diplomatic positions, diplomats from Poland. This is my uh, just very intuitive approach to this. And in the light of this situation, I don't know how Polish citizens will be able to travel to Russia. That's another aspect to the story. But I don't want to panic and uh, think this way because you never know. I always believe there are ways to find and there are always exceptions and the way how this is um, unfolding and escalating is very, very unhealthy. And I agree what kind of diplomatic relationships, right? You want to have with a country who uses forces like this to enter the school. Although apparently the police was saying that they were not allowed in. That's why they had to use the force. Um, I will be walking with you a little bit further to show you the museum that is actually my favorite museum in Kraków. But behind me, guys, you see Barbakan. This is the place I've mentioned yesterday. So, yes, um, the second news I will give you in a second. Maybe I can find a place to sit down. But here is, I think the street is called I'm not sure if this is the name, no, the other one is called Świętego Jana, but here you have the Czartoryski Museum, right here. This is actually one of my favorite museums in Kraków and in Poland. 
and maybe I will take you there during my stay here in Kraków uh, because it's absolutely beautiful place and the video that I have posted over a year ago it was like my very beginning of recording videos travel videos I've been inside that museum so you can see a glimpse of it but this street is actually one of my favorite streets in Kraków behind me you can see the church and yes the weather the weather has not been today um, very cooperative for places to sit down but nevertheless let me tell you what else has happened before i get to my notes so there was an incident it happened i believe on the 26th of april still this month and there was a mysterious missile that landed in town near Bydgoszcz, which is kind of like a center center part of poland i would say Let me just check the streets yes you see how beautiful uh, but i would like to read to you the response from certain people in position uh, military positions because this accident was not reported beautiful old building this accident was not reported to the polish citizens so they kind of hide it away from people and a lot of speculations have been circulating about this missile mysterious missile that landed somewhere in the forest but i have to sit to get my notes and tell you exactly the words of reaction how they are absolutely now destroying how beautiful is this how they are uh, destroying the Op how they how they are putting the opinion about the government now their opinions about how the government is absolutely not ready to react to any crisis and cannot handle any crisis if it happens but let me take a seat i found a little step here it's a good moment here okay so again you will find the article down below the video and it says about a mysterious missile and how the government slept through another incident former head of the ministry of national defense is responding to this he says the prime minister and his ministers are focused on successes in this forest near bydgoszcz residents noticed a mysterious object such an information appeared on wednesday evening on april 26th the fire brigade and the police were immediately put on their feet the services started a search operation and secured the area the case is under investigation right now one moment <laughs> the case is under investigation right now but so far that has been no clear messages about where the missile came from and landed in the forest so the reaction is from the professional military officers the authorities decided to take water in their mouths instead of immediately informing citizens about everything just want to show you this church Old town Krakow, beautiful city. Okay, let's continue. And to be clear, no one expected the details. It was a clear message that the services are in control of the situation and there is no reason for concern or panic. One more page.
real life. Now, these are very interesting, strong words from this guy, who is Tomasz Szymoniak. And who is he? He is the former Minister of Defense and MP of the Electoral Commission. So they've asked him, the journalist, is anyone in the Polish government able to manage a crisis situation? And his response to it, Szymoniak's response is, the government can, can neither manage the crisis nor crisis communication. This is a flop on the whole line. This is also no flow of information and in the Minister of National Defense, the Ministry um, of the Interior and Administration of the government spokesman. People are extremely oversensitive. Five years ago, this incident would have been considered an ordinary incident, but now, in the context, is clear. The problem is also the fact that in the current Ministry of National Defense, the last spokesman, spokesperson, was convicted. And the successors are anonymous. You ask me about graffiti. Yes, there is some graffiti here, guys. Michel, this means think or a thought. And what else he said? nice behind me. He said that the Law and Justice Party and the ministers are focused only on press conferences during which they talk about their successes. Then something that is unforeseen completely paralyzes them. And isn't it true? He also talked about Morawiecki. He said that Prime Minister Morawiecki and his ministers do not like to inform people about difficult matters. So there you have it, guys. We have the mysterious missile that uh, explodes, or I don't know what happened with this really, Some lands somewhere in the forest. No one is talking about it for several days. The speculations are circulating all around. Misinformation, information all over the place. The government is not informing the citizens. Meanwhile, they are doing the kind of campaigning before they can legally campaign. And I would like to say one more thing here, completely aside from those two um, topics that I was bringing to you today. I would like to say in my personal opinion, and I don't think it's only my opinion, one of the main reasons why this narrative with the threat coming from Russia is circulating right now is because they want to use this this danger they are talking about is one of the main reasons to create a, create a, a state and control to hold on to power what it means? It means they might use this as an excuse. I really hope it won't happen, but it's just uh, very possible. They might use it as an excuse to create, like we had in 1981, not exactly the same way, of course, but uh, martial law. And then you have absolute power over the country and this could be right before the election. We have election to the Parliament of Poland, to Sejm, I think, which is the main force, the decision-making place for the country in November. So when you look at the dates and you look at this offensive in Ukraine, just think, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind when there's election in Poland, because this will give you an understanding of timing, in my opinion. The more I look at it, again, I'm absolutely not any expert in this. This is just my intuition telling me. And some a little bit common sense here, no? But that's all I have for you guys. Again, my video all over the place, but that's how I am. And I know those of you 
who are watching you really don't mind so let me walk a little bit here and then i will have to go to grab something to eat have uh, some good breakfast by the way those of you who never been to krakow i just want to say there are so many incredible places to have breakfast or dinner or lunch i found something interesting here They are like different, let's see what is this, is it like a grave? I really don't know what is this place. Hmm. Kind of like graves with names of people, but it's uh, something like this i never seen before. There is a church across right here, but that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to leave the comments down below as always, and I will see you in the next video, probably tomorrow, and hopefully the weather will be nicer, so I can show you around more places in this beautiful city of Krakow. Lots of love everyone. Make sure to join me on locals. Uh, and you know why, because those topics are sensitive, right? You know? And also follow me on Instagram. I might be doing live or lives on Instagram and taking you with me along here for some walks and showing you places. Oh, doggies. <laughs> and yeah, have a great day everyone. Lots of love.